Dilly, let's get to get a reaction about today's game. Arsenal 3 1. And before the game, Tottenham lost. So, can we say it's a good day being an Arsenal fan? Look, this afternoon, this evening is a good day being an Arsenal fan. Overall, yeah, whatever happened to Tottenham, yeah, mm -hmm. let's forget about Tottenham. For the reasons I say that, yeah, we are trying to win this Premier League with a squad that is less stronger than last season, yeah? Let's, let's, let's let, let that sink in. The reality is, yeah, our squad will be the reason and our manager, uh, no, our squad and the management would be the reason why we don't win this league. But I will say this, yeah, the bar has fallen a little bit. Yes, Tottenham might have um, lost today. Yes, fans are cheering that Tottenham have lost. But we just need to do our job and forget about Tottenham. And just remember that we're trying to challenge for the top, trying to put pressure on Man City for as long as the season goes. And for as long as the season goes, Man City will be more favourites than... Um, they'll be more favourites more than ever before. They've got the right manager. They've got the best management in the world. They've got some of the best players in the world. That being said, we've got some young talent. And speaking of young talent, a couple of young, um, young talent from the Hay Lane Academy. Um, Ra Walters, um, Sago Jr., uh, um, Abraham. I've never seen Abraham, but he made it on the bench today. And for Vieira getting sent off, there's a possibility that we might have another young lad on the bench in a fortnight v Brentford away. Now, that's good for the future, but we need proper players for the, for the here and now. And we haven't got that. And we're waiting on the fitness of Jesus. We're waiting on the fitness of Odegaard. We're waiting for the fitness of Partey. Tottenham have um, injury problems. Number of, um, even Man City have got injury problems. De Bruyne, people forget that he's injured. But they're still coping better than anybody else because they're sitting top of the league yeah. for a reason mm -hmm. that tells you why they're favourites they can they could be missing Haaland but they got Argentina's number nine who won the World Cup let's not forget that yeah. in Alvarez he can play the number nine role and he will score goals if he he walks in ahead of Jesus and Eddie and Ketia Alvarez never mind Bro Erlen Haaland or Erlen Bro Haaland however you pronounce his name I will say this now. Yeah, what I saw today in the game. Yeah, complete control without being um, vintage. How I say that is because I saw Burnley. They've given their credit. They've come here. They did not sit and play the low block. They came here with the intent of um, having some of the ball, creating them um, an opportunity. And they had the first shot on target of the game. Good save by Raya. And they had another um, opportunity in that first half before we went 1-0 up another good save by Raya and it just shows you that they can play the game I don't feel they deserve to go down because of the philosophy that um, Vincent Kompany has implemented to the team he wants, to, he wants them to play and their winger who gave Tommy Yasu problems he's a good player OK what well, can you say about uh, the performance of Kai Havertz today Kai Havertz yeah and uh, if Arsenal want to sign a, strike, a striker in January who do you want to see and that's not shared come January. It would have to be Ivan Tony. That's the realistic um, target. Also, men will cost way too much than Ivan Tony. I'm not saying Ivan Tony is worth 80 million. He's worth 60, between 50 to 60 million. Let's be honest. But I would go for Ivan Tony and I will go for Pedro Neto to um, provide that pressure and competition for to Bukayo Saka, who's not been performing well this season. He's n Saka has not been at the level that he has been that he has um, been at from last season. So we have to call him out. Can you say he's been overused? All right. There, there's an argument that he's been overused. Yeah? That's the reason why I'm saying the pressure and competition needs to be put on him. And Pedro Neto is that guy. That's the target. Today, in the performance, yeah? Yeah, satisfying. But I wouldn't say it was great. Nowhere near that. It was satisfying. We got the job done. Vieira um, got himself stupidly sent off and rightfully so, he deserved the lower ratings like 2 out of 10, maybe 1 out of 10. Mm. And that put us under a bit of pressure. And Burnley in, in that second half equalised. And if you be honest with yourself, in some senses they deserve that equaliser. But we showed character to go up the other end and, 
and score. Saliba scored the captain's goal, in my opinion. So what can you say about the performance of Kai Havertz for Arsenal so far? Crap. Crap! He hasn't shown me nothing, Kai Havertz. He hasn't shown me anything. He's meant to be what? If he's meant to be a number 10, he's meant to... He's meant to take the initiative. Demand the ball. Instead of hiding. He's been hiding f f since um, day one. I can say it's a mismatch for you know the departure of uh, Granit Xhaka. In, so, in a sense, Granit Xhaka had more of a fight, but in a fight, f fight for, for the course. There's no fight in Havertz. There's no nothing in Havertz. Mm. Havertz is the worst signing. Hold on, hold on, please. The worst. There's nothing in him. He's, he doesn't get the he doesn't get the ball and create. He doesn't get the ball. He doesn't get to score. Seville. It, it, let me highlight Seville. The opportunity he had in that game. Clear header. He had a whole target to himself and he's missed. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a long process with him. In fact, no process. I'm done with Havertz. Can we just get a refund? If there's a such thing, if there's such a thing of getting the refund, I want it now. Before midnight. Literally. As for Eddie and Ketia, again, he come on as a sub, but again. If we're talking about winning league titles, you can't do it with Eddie Nketiah. He's proven that. He's been here six years. He's never been prolific. So that's my opinion on Havertz. And yeah, I've got to throw in Eddie Nketiah in there. Other than that, yeah. We, just remember, we knocked down that stadium across the road, less than five minutes away from us, yeah. We knocked it down to come here to compete with Bayern Munich. There's been times where we haven't competed with, them, with the mid-tables. Let's talk about um, some of the Everton's. Let's talk about some of the mid the Palaces. We've just about compete. We we competed in mid, mid tables in the last four. Go back four seasons back. We competed with mid table um, football teams, let alone at the top. And they tell us we're going to knock down Highbury to compete with Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. Pull the other one out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dele. You're welcome.